what is up guys welcome back to another video my name is nash and in this video i'm going to be providing you with a four-year degree plan for your bba in finance now this is going to be a microsoft excel template which you can download link in the description below and uh, you can literally take this to your college advisor and say hey this is my template for my four-year plan what classes should I fill it out with so that I can graduate with enough credits and all that. So this allows you to plan to graduate in four years. All right. So as you can see, this is divided into semesters, right? So we have your first year, which has two semesters and second year and so forth. Now, looking at the first year here, you're going to see that you're taking some pretty basic classes, right? We have something like introduction to college. This might be, you know, this is one of those classes that universities give uh, first year university students to kind of like integrate well into the college life. So most colleges do offer this class and it's mandatory uh, for most people. You also have stuff like English literature. It feels like high school when you start taking these classes. You also have something like a general elective, right? All of these classes allow you to build a essential academic skills and also introduce you to university life. You take some more classes which might feel like high school, like microeconomics and macroeconomics, but these are really important because, you know, they kind of like teach you those principles of economics that are going to be critical uh, for uh, for understanding financial systems that uh, everything you're going to do in finance and accounting it always ties back to the economy so it's important to have a basic understanding of those uh, two classes now i would say you know the next set of classes like calculus and statistics this class is like kind of like difficult if you're not uh, good at math uh, they might you know be a little challenging but these are also important because they're going to allow you to kind of like have a feel of the quantitative skills in finance that you're going to be doing so if you want to go into uh quantitative finance you know statistics is going to be a huge thing as well as calculus right uh so it's good to have that's why they offer these classes because sometimes you don't know what you want to specialize in so they offer you all these baselines uh, to help you with uh with you know with, with with having that base knowledge now you also have classes like uh, introduction of business as well as financial accounting this class is actually pretty good because if you've never if you don't know anything about business or maybe accounting these are really really good introductory classes that will help you you know understand basic business and basic financial principles um yeah so this kind of like they give you kind of like that support to get ready for those advanced classes that are going to become that are going to be coming in the next uh coming years now let's look at your sophomore year which is going to be your uh second year now things start to get a little interesting right you know this is where you have your core business uh, classes as well as your introductory finance classes so first off we have managerial accounting you also have uh, financial accounting now these are relatively easy classes um you know they kind of like help you develop uh you know or understand financial analysis as well as management skills really now you also have business law uh, you have your uh, management information systems. Now you also have your history or political science. I think you might have the option to pick a history class or political science class. Um, you can also pick a science elective. I think I took a class called uh, drugs and society, something like that. So you can pick a science elective. And these are basically like general education and they're required for public universities. And you also have your principles of marketing class. You also have your operations management class. All right. So now now let's move on to the third year which is your junior year now this is going to be advanced finance and business courses here now looking at this you're going to start taking your intermediate finance as well as your investments class uh, your financial markets and institutions i actually did take all these uh, three classes here and these classes are really really exciting if you are someone who is into finance because this is when you really, really start to take advanced finance courses now you also have your electives right you're looking at um a finance elective i think for my finance elective i took a, a course on um uh, i think it was on business planning or something like that um uh, you also have a humanities elective i think for this i took uh, a world religions class very interesting class but you have the ability to take classes that aren't offered in your degree plan by the time you get to your fourth year this is when you need to pick your specialization right you can't just do general pick something that you're inter interested in because as, you, as you're gonna see here you're gonna have a chance to take a bunch of electives so this is when you can specialize your finance degree like in my case uh specialized in corporate finance right so instead of taking a bunch of invest investment classes or a bunch of um you know 
like like maybe insurance classes i went ahead and took corporate finance classes classes that were on that track so likely my university had these tracks they said if you want to focus on corporate finance take these electives so that's how you specialize in it all right so as you can see here we have advanced finance topics so it could be whatever finance class that is advanced that they're going to offer there's usually a bunch of options that you can pick from um you also have a class like business strategy there's usually classes that you can pick that promote business strategy or that are um you know that are part of the um like the business strategy umbrella now you also have your capstone in finance so i recommend taking this your very very last semester right because the capstone class is essentially supposed to allow you to use all the skills that you've gained over the years uh, in finance and you have this project that allows you to use those skills right so i recommend taking that your very 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 last semester now you also have you know things like your ethics in business right this is a requirement that you have to take um this is a pretty simple class really um i think i took this class maybe in my third year or something like that in uh, some of these classes, you can, you know, rearrange them. There are some classes that you have to take your final semester, but there are some classes that might be offered in year four, but you can take them in year three, right? Uh, you have your finance electives. Uh, you also have your general electives. I believe I took a bunch of finance classes here. Now, most people, what they like to do with those uh, general electives, that's pretty much open to like, you can take any elective you want. I'd like to take the easy classes so that you can, you know, have a nice last year of college where you don't have to study all night or spend your whole time in the library. So that's going to be up to you. But uh, this is essentially a four year plan that should help you graduate in four years. Um, and obviously you can take this to your college advisor and say, Hey, this is my template. What classes should I fill this up with? Or if your college has a website that shows you a degree plan, go ahead and fill it out using that degree plan and go show it to your college advisor. So that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.